use a little bit of magic. Okay, so three, two, one, and so there you go. Unwrap, that was easy, wasn't it? So this is what I do. I tend to lay this out um, because one of the big problems is when you are ever assembling anything at all is just check you've got everything because there's nothing more frustrating than when you start building something you get to a certain point you're missing an item protective sleeve on here which you can take off uh, you can put that down to one side also you've got a little protective cowling which goes over the top uh, of the existing nut of the handlebars uh, and again you know just making sure not to twist the cables it's a little bit fiddly you, you might want to uh, just adjust um, this so that um, loosen that off a little bit so they they go parallel in line for this this sleeve to go through what i tend to do is put that sleeve through first and then slide that in place on the top here you can see here so we've got the biggest the number 10 so it's a six millimeter uh, Allen key bolt and that will go in the top here and you're going to tighten what I would say is just line the handlebars up with the center of the forks down there I mean you can readjust it you know tighten it by hand just there and then if you if you get an angle on the Allen key here yeah you can then tighten enough to hold that in place to adjust it is simple Again, it's a six millimeter Allen key. It goes underneath the frame here, uh, into there. Again, anti-clockwise, and then just twist the handlebar to where you want to get it. Remember to keep it central in here, and then tighten up again. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to fit the front mud guard and the front light. Uh, so the light's pretty good. Comes with a reflector. Um, and a little LED light bulb which should be pretty bright it is um, on here with a, a little cable tie which I would suggest that you cut off first is it's going to go uh, onto the actual frame and it, it, onto the actual uh, front forks so it's got an allen key here that's a 5mm allen key you can see this is adjustable here I'd adjust it roughly to right angle and then that will that will sit in there. You can adjust this afterwards. So what this does is if you take the arm key out here, you see it comes with a couple of um, washers on there as well. Okay, so you see it comes with a non-slip bolt. Uh, and the bolt, the Allen bolt with the two washers. So, okay, so uh, I tightened up the bolt here. What I've done is uh, you can adjust this afterwards and tight, re, re tighten this, but if you put that down at the right angle, you're not going to get the Allen key bolt in there to tighten that up. Just remember to tighten the bolt in the back. So, this time uh, we need to change the Allen key again uh, from down to 5mm down to 4mm, and you've got two bolts. On the side of the forks here again you're gonna to have to loosen them off it does come with washers on these as well keep keep the washers to the outside uh, then it stops the the bolts from coming loose the vibration and stuff so line your your mug guard supports on the side here uh, and again and the reverse is just to put it back in again. Again, nice and simple. Actually, it works pretty well. I quite like this tool. It is actually pretty robust. Um, I'll put it loose that down tight anyway. So that sort of slips off quite nicely. So just undo them. And that can go to one side for a minute line up the disc with the disc pads correctly as it goes in and then what you're going to do uh, we're going to remove the bolt from the side here uh, and remove the spring so that enables that to pass through the actual wheel itself here 
uh, and then enough room to get the forks in and the springs and you can fit the spring and the bolt on the other side but I'll show you in a moment. So there's a hole right the way through the, the, the front wheel that goes through. If you push it the bolt comes out the other side and again with the smallest bit towards the frame uh, you're just going to offer that up uh, and that will screw onto there. Right okay we're going to fit the, the mud guard I say it's touching the tire at the moment so this needs to be adjusted out so it's got two holes down here with allen key bolts with a washer this will fit in both sides uh, you know again you can this is reasonably fiddly here to get in because it's quite close to the gearing just do it hand tight first okay and then using the four millimeter tool that will tighten up and that takes it away from the tire there and all you do with that is offer up those and again uh, you're just going to tighten this in hand tight again i i would say just to uh, try to get the opposite lock on those before you start screwing it in because one of the things you don't want to do is is damage the thread so i tend to reverse it around the other way first so that it lines up uh, and then tighten up again you can tighten this by hand uh, and, and you have got the tool here that you can use to tighten it up and uh, you know it is good enough to do the job you're going to then uh, replicate that on the other side as well again you know right and right the rotation post we just slip in here uh, again, we can adjust this at a later date, uh, so we just have it to a, um, 